Hey guys, today I want to do something kind of fun. So if you've ever watched The Social Network, I was just watching it uh, and I paused at the hacking scene and I thought, you know, I used to be really baffled by this, like what the hell is going on? And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do an episode where we actually do that hacking? Before I start, I want to say he doesn't really hack anything in some essence. There's one, there's one website he does hack, but um, the rest of them, it's just publicly available images. And all he does is download those images. And he comes up with unique methods in order to download them. That's exactly what we're going to do. Let the hacking begin. Oh, that didn't kind of hurt. All right, so let's look at the, some of the things he does. Uh, he gets drunk, which we're not going to do. They come up with the idea to do it. Don't try this at home. Let the hacking begin. First on the list is Kirkland. They keep everything open and allow indexes in their Apache configuration. So a little w to get magic is all that's necessary. What is indexing? Uh, indexing is this really simple way of navigating websites. Now that web technology has come quite a long way, most websites, in fact, like I hardly, I don't think I've seen an, a website in years that allows you to do this. But um, I'm going to create one really quickly. See, I'm creating a, a server locally really quickly just so that I can show you exactly what he's talking about. It's not on this port, it's on this port. All right, this is what it is. This is what it looks like, directory four, and you can navigate the website. Like this is the home page. This is where the images are, are kept. Um, and what you see on his is he goes to images or photos, female. So he can, you know, specify exactly uh, female that, you know, that he's looking for. I doubt that a website would actually have it based on a male folder and a female folder. It'd probably be more likely to be in like floor one, floor two, floor three but it's a movie. Child's Play. Next on the list is Elliot. They're also open with no indexes in Apache. Okay, so you can't access the website that way. I can run an empty search and it returns all the images in the database in a single page. Then I can save the page and Mozilla will save all the images for me. I don't think I have to explain that one. He does an empty search, gets all the images, saves the page. Uh, Lowell has some security. They require a username and password. Okay, I'm not going to read out this whole one. This one's pretty, it's actually pretty cool. So. What he does is um, he assumes that uh, Lowell doesn't own user information. They, they don't have like your harvard.edu username password. So nowadays you would probably have that, but he's assuming that Lowell doesn't have access to, to the, the user's Harvard account. All Lowell knows about is the usernames, uh, is the user's username and student number. So if a user was to try to enter that site and say, hey, my username is Jason Goodison and my Harvard password is Hunter2, they wouldn't know if the password's Hunter2 or not because they don't have access to it. So what they do instead is the username is the username and the password is just the student ID. So that's it. So he guesses, he, he uses somebody else's uh, username and student ID which is not, which is public information, right? And he gets in. It's a smart guess. Further in Lowell, he says, they're separated into different pages. All the pictures are separated into different pages. He's too lazy to go through and save each one. That's fine. Writing a Perl script to take care of it. I would use Python, but uh, yeah, that's fine. He's basically just, you know, changing the URL. So he's going like Lowell slash, I don't know, page one. And then he's, he's requesting page two and page three. He's doing it programmatically instead of, um, having to do it manually. That's not that hard. You could do that really easily. Adam says no security, but limits number of pages, lim number of results to 20 a page. All I need to do is break out the same script I use on Lowell and we're set. Again, nothing groundbreaking here. Dunster's intense. Not only is there no public directory, there's no directory at all. This may be difficult. I'll come back later. That one, yeah, it sounds difficult. Um, if there was a different place on the internet where you could find everyone's name, that wouldn't be such a big deal because you could search for them programmatically one at a time but when you don't know anyone's name uh, that that one because becomes really difficult uh next one they're a little better they still make you search but you can do an empty search and get links to the pages with every student's picture it's slightly obnoxious that they only let you view one picture at a time all right fair enough so he breaks out the same script he just programmatically goes to the links. You can use wget to do a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're talking about. Let's go to techintern.com. All right. So we got this image here. Uh, this is where the podcast is. 
Um, I mean, you can find it on any podcasting app, but we host it here too. And we got all of these images. We've got this image. All right, let's use wget. Okay, so let's do it. We get wget dash r dash p dash r means recursively. So we want to go down a few levels um, on the website, make sure that we search the entire website, not just the, f the front page. Um, we want to save it dash p in the images folder. We want to do jpeg. We want to do jpg. We want to do png. And uh, then we also last but not least want to do um, ND, no directory. We want to save all of the um, we want to save all the pictures into one file. We don't want to keep the directory structure that the website has. And then last but not least, we just put the URL in there. Let's see. There we go. Things are starting to flood in. Sweet. That's it. Um, so most of it, most of it was wget at the end of the day. Now you could probably use curl nowadays. You wouldn't use Perl. You would use uh, Python. You wouldn't use wget. You would use curl, and that's about it. See, it's really not that complicated. And he doesn't. The only hacking he does is guessing that username password combo, which was really smart. Um, but that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one.